I'm out today because Everest Caravans has launched a really special off-road caravan. It's called the Nitro Extreme. It's an 18 foot, eight inch caravan, and it's an absolute ripper. Look, Everest Caravans has only been in business for about three years. In that time, they've had no warranty claims. Now I've checked out quite a few Everest Caravans over the years, and not a word of a lie, they're fast becoming one of my favorite manufacturers in Australia. These guys do it really well. They're passionate, and that passion shows in the vans. You've got to check this one out. Now, the thing about the Nitro Extreme is that it's just got so much gear in it that it's kind of hard to know where to start. So look, we'll start here. We've got a slide out kitchen. And as we can see, we've got room here for a portable Weber barbecue, as well as a sink. And as you can see, it looks great, looks nice and functional. Now you might think that this cladding is composite aluminium. In fact, it's not. It's construction grade aluminium, 1.8 millimeters thick, and it's even fireproof. And it's really, really strong. They even offer a 10 year warranty on the color. Something else about this caravan that I personally appreciate, right around here, let me show you. So Everest Caravans has taken the time to wrap all the plumbing underneath the caravan in protective Aggie pipe. That's going to protect the plumbing, you know, from stones and gravel when you're doing the Unadatta track or you're up at Cape York. After all, if something's gonna go on the caravan, it's always gonna be the plumbing underneath. And to be honest, it's just great to see that Everest has put this time and effort in. Now at the back of the caravan, Everest has fitted a bike rack to suit four bikes. Now this is an option, it's not standard, but this is a bunk caravan, so why wouldn't you fit a bike rack? Now you've also got a spare wheel as well as a couple of jerry can holders. You've got some generous storage here and at the front of the van we've got some more. Let's take a look. Now on the draw bar we've got a checker plate storage box and a slide out tray for a generator on the offside. Now I'm about to show you something that I have never seen on a caravan before and I think it is pure genius. Now this is a combined washing machine and dryer. Why is it on the outside though? Well, dryers, as we know, give off a lot of humidity. If it was inside the caravan, in the long run, that's just going to create problems. So they've put it on the outside, it folds flat when it's not in use, doesn't take up a great deal of space, and it's fantastic. But where does the gray water from the washing machine go? Well, Everest has thought of that. In fact, they've created a little inlet for the gray water tank right here. The hose goes straight in, and away you go. Welcome inside. Now, is it just me, or is the interior pretty beautiful? Now, I could probably talk all day about what's going on inside here, but I'll just point out a few of my favorite things, starting with the back of the caravan. Across the very rear, you have two bunks. Now, there's a few things to point out. They both have Sirocco fans. They've got a reading light with integrated USB point. You've got some drawers underneath, but there's also some really clever thinking involved. Now, because it's a relatively tight fit, how are you gonna change the sheets for the kids? Well, they've thought of that, and they've left a gap of about five inches to allow you to get your arms and your hands in there. And they've also included some mesh safety barriers for the kids. What a great thought. One of the things that I think works really well inside this caravan is this rear split bathroom setup. It's a real space saver. On the offside, we have a fully molded shower cubicle. It's never gonna leak. On the near side, we've got a cubicle for the cassette toilet, really nice vanity, and they've even fitted a laundry hamper. You don't see that very often. Now, the guys at Everest reckon that this is the only 18 foot nine inch caravan that has an island bed. One thing that I like about it is the way that it's sort of recessed into the nose of the caravan, and there's loads of storage underneath. And as we can see, we've even got a door here for nice, easy access without having to lift up the mattress. Now, in terms of your water carrying capacity, they've fitted two 95 litre water tanks and they've also fitted a grey water tank, which is fantastic for free camping in national parks and that sort of thing. The Everest Nitro Extreme has a Maranti timber frame with studs at 300 millimetre centres. The frames bolted together at the chassis, on the sides and across the top. In other words, it's strong. And there's a load of other appointments as well. You've got your Sirocco fan, a Swift 500 series, four burner cooktop, griller, full oven, BM Pro battery management system. They've also fitted a BM Pro mini boost DC to DC charger. And of course, you've got that blue LED strip lighting as well that lends the caravan a nice classy feel. Well, that is the Nitro Extreme by Everest Caravans. And you have to agree, it is an absolute ripper.